Head coach Larry Coker and the UTSA Roadrunners are ready for their first ever Conference USA game. The UTEP Miners, they're ready for a showdown and want to make a good first impression in the conference standings. Yep, and the first ever meeting between the one and two UTSA Roadrunners and the one and one UTEP Miners. Sosa on the option, does pitch it off and a path to the sideline. Glasgow puts his head down, sheds a tackler, and formation's gonna be tough for these guys just to get lined up. On second down, they handed it off to Kenny Bias, who turns the corner, leapfrogs a player, and gets down across the 50. The football, Evans Okacha is in there now. UTSA is not shy about mixing up the personnel. Sosa. Throws to the near sideline, and he's got Aaron Grubb with some space, and he's pulled down after crossing the 30. A little bit of miscommunication by the corner and left him wide open. Another option play. Brandon Armstrong got to the sideline, turned the corner, and gets in for the touchdown. 29 yards for Brandon Armstrong. First touchdown of the season for Brandon Armstrong, who had only carried it three times for six yards coming into the game. And check out this block right here, number 15. Not a cleanup type of block. Not going to sit there and take him off his feet, but no situation. Autre Golden and Josh Bell are awaiting the kick from Iano. And this one is in the direction of Golden. Has a path right through the middle. The kicker to beat. Autre Golden in a foot race down the sideline. Slips past the tackler. Touchdown, Miners. Let's take a look here. This is the way you respond. It's a simple middle return by the kickoff return team. They get a hat on a hat. He makes one guy miss, and they take everybody. Crowded backfield here, and the give is to Jones. And he, yes, the same as the running back, Bennett and Evans Okacha are the brothers. Jamil Showers was hit as he threw. He hooks up with Ian Hamilton again, and he's got a first down as he out here, you know, proving that he can get the work done on the football field as well. And it is not his last year of eligibility as he goes right over the top to Eric Tomlins. Didn't actually play though. Showers to throw. To the end zone, well defended by Bennett Okacha. He got a hand in there and knocked it away from Jordan. Hand of number 21. Well, check out this technique at the end of the play. He gets his right hand in there, as opposed to ball that football. A 28-yard attempt from the freshman Jay Maddox is good. You have to have a guy to replace you in your coverage. So they recognize the pressure a little bit, just dunk it out there to the receiver. And you have to wrap for UTSA Jordan Gray taking over for Josh Walker after he was banged up on that last play. And Cam Jones able to get around the corner, ran into his own man, and then out of the backfield. Glasgow tonight four rushes for 22 yards. And again with speed, Cam Jones. He's got a blocker. He cuts through the middle. No one's in his way. Touchdown, Cam Jones. 28 yards as he got past Devin Cockrell. This is you have to understand where the guys are and be aware. Check out this spot right there. The corner is running with Cam Jones. That's his responsibility. But as these guys are trying to blitz and hit that hole, they run into each other, leaving Cam Jones wide open. And the defense got a little lucky there. I mean, he's he senses a little bit of the pressure. And that's just, a, I think that's just a poor decision. There's too many bodies. That, he got a little lucky there with that pass interference call. And on the outside, another good collision there. And get your offense back on the field. You've got to get off the, off the field on third down. UTEP has had success on third down, but not here. Stopped right around the original line of scrimmage. Aaron Jones knocked down third and four from the 22-yard line. Here come the Miners. Sosa gets the pass off. It's low, but caught by Josiah Monroe, and he has the first down. If you do that, you shut down that dive. Second and three. Sosa to throw. It's a short pass, and it's Cam Jones, and it's across midfield. It's a can't match up quite as well, and they spread you out and they run these multiple formations. I say offense. Big play here with five and a half minutes to go 
in the second quarter. It's third and seven under pressure. Got it off to Okacha. Has a path. He has the first down as he gets to the 30. As long is 43. So this is in his range. And it is good. There's nearly 300 yards on the ground per game. And Showers gave the handoff, but quickly Will Ritter tackled Autre Golden. He lost nine on the play, as maybe he should have kept to take these, these kick returns and punt returns. And sometimes you just go against conventional wisdom and want to run. Way back there is Brandon Freeman, stays in bounds, and he gets down to the 21-yard line. So keeping points off the, ball, off the board. So... Let's see if they can keep that trend up. Couple of fakes wide open in the end zone. Yes! And Touchdown, Cole Hubble. Sometimes they're decoys. Sometimes they actually hand the ball off. When you do that and you've got guys in the backfield crisscrossing, going right to left, left to right, the defense, if you're not lined up and keyed in, you often leave guys. First and 10 for Showers and the Miners. Throws to the sideline and Eric Tomlinson, the tight end. First down marker and come back to the football. Instead, they hand it off again, and no problem for Golden, who got a little lane and took big advantage of it. 25 yards. But it does bring up third down. Hand off to Bell, and he powers his way through. That's a first down. Final minute of play here in the third quarter. Second and seven for UTEP as they pitch it to Aaron Jones, trying to get to the corner and denied by Bennett Okacha. Third and goal from the seven yard line. Showers looking for anyone. Throws into double coverage. Incomplete. Incomplete. We're the ones touching that football first though. Well, Showers tries to fit it in just a tight spot Okacha does a great job of just getting his right hand on there. Excellent concentration to come up with the ball, but then the defenders collapse. Nice tech, a sure touchdown catch. That is a disappointed head coach whose team is settling now for a 24-yard field goal attempt from Jay Maddox. And Maddox makes it count. Coaching stints. He has coached in college before, but never as a head coach. Showers looking long down the right side. His man is Leslie, and he can't bring it in. That's twice now where they, it's just off the fingertips, so close to a big play. Oh. I really thought. And he was able to take down a heavier Evans Okachi. Third and short. Scrambling. And dishing it off, did he get a foot down? Grub, no. They say he was out of bounds. I think he actually made it in. I think he never controlled it and was just out of bounds. Ooh, that's Maybe. Tough. Got a foot uh, down. Is, did is he that, control is that, it? Is that ball moving? After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. The receiver did not maintain possession while going to the ground. So the, down. the feet were in, the but the ball in, was yep. not controlled. Harrison had UTSA backed up and forced to punt. Showers looking to throw with a guy in his face, and there's a big hit. Wow, a lot of credit to Ford right there. This is just a, a quick boot action, and the, and the corner's sitting there. They weren't expecting the corner to be out there. And this is fourth down and eight. UTEP two for three on the season on fourth down. Under pressure is Showers. He's got to make it to the 22, and he kept on moving. It will be close. Drew Douglas stopped him, but when did he stop him? He didn't get it. UTSA was eight for 16 last week against Arizona. Third and four to the air to Grubb in and out of his hands, but a flag as Sosa got hit late, and he is still down. Eight yards per game is what they average in penalties. That leads all of Conference USA. It just goes to show you how disciplined. Been a factor, though. Third and four. They throw it to the left side. 
And the pass is complete to Kenny Harrison. It's of no benefit for them to let him run down with the clock stop. As it's now at five. Well, they're showing blitz on the bottom, the bottom half here, and he pulls out. The throw is over the middle, and it's complete, and it's a first down for Seth Grubb. As they hand it off and sneaking through the middle is David Glasgow. Touchdown Roadrunners. 17-yard strike for Glasgow right up the middle. And this one seals it. Well, you had to think that they're going to try to run the football. The clock was stopped after that incomplete pass. Even if you don't pick up a first down or a big play, you still want to run the clock out because he is so dynamic and he does have that good burst and can be a big-time playmaker. But you're down by 15. You just start having to, having to throw the ball. and That's pretty much what took all the touches away from him. So didn't get a chance to see much of him in the second half. See Larry Coker get out there on the field and want to give a nice warm welcome to the sideline to the UTSA defense as Larry Coker and the UTSA Roadrunners in their first ever game in Conference USA put, pick up their first ever win in Conference USA and convincingly 32 to 13 over the UTEP Miners. Eric Sosa did most of his damage in the first half. We see some fireworks here.